Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. De novo lipogenesis is one of the most crucial processes going on within the body. If we're talking about health risks, future health risks, development potentially of many diseases, including insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, fatty liver disease, I want you to remember de novo lipogenesis. And I know I've touched upon it before, but I want to talk about the crucial pathway, cellular pathway, on which it hinges. Firstly, what is the definition of hepatic de novo lipogenesis? Well, hepatic means occurring within the liver, and lipogenesis means the development of fatty acids, the synthesis of fatty acids. De novo means from the new or from the beginning. It's Latin. Let's look at the actual chemical process then. So this is from the journal Metabolism Clinical and Experimental. And here you can see glucose, which enters the cell. It is broken down to pyruvate via a process known as glycolysis. The pyruvate then enters the mitochondrion, which is the energy generating structure, the organelle within the cell, goes through the TCA cycle, which stands for tricarboxylic acid cycle. And this is also known as the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. Citrate is generated. This is then converted to a very important molecule known as acetyl coenzyme A. And acetyl coenzyme A then goes through the fatty acid synthesis pathway and is converted to complex fatty acids via malonyl coenzyme A and palmitate. And this occurs within the cytoplasm of the cell. So that is it then. That is the biochemical process which underlies so many diseases that we are dealing with in society today at pandemic proportions whether it's type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, fatty liver disease, heart disease, and of course, obesity. Keep that pathway in mind. Because when anybody eats excess carbohydrates, especially refined carbohydrates, sugars, processed foods, those three devils of modern day society, that is the pathway which the glucose goes through to generate fatty acids. And this is reflected in lipid adipose tissue fat storage, and also elevated blood levels of many other substances, including triglycerides. Keep that in mind. If it's your thing, hang that diagram on your wall so you always remember that when you are faced with those bad modern day foods, that is a process which occurs within your body. De novo lipogenesis. Thank you everybody for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Dr. Sunil Dan, if you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button for more similar videos on my Real Medicine and Health Science channel. You can also follow me on my other platforms. Links are down below. We will talk again very soon.